be my last round here in Ohio, Toledo area for the next couple of months. This is Ottawa Park Golf Course, even though the recognized date of 1899 is historical enough for most people's senior person, Pearson Germain, the first president of the Inverness Golf Club uh, claimed that golf was actually played on the grounds in Ottawa Park in 1894. Uh, it has been the distinction of the oldest public course west of New York City. So there you go. That's what we're playing today. We got a par five. Playing white. There's no <laughs> there's no driving range, so there's nowhere to warm up. We're going 480. Alright, we'll see you. Far down there, so let's get this kicked off. I've done zero warm-ups, so this ought to be a fiasco. Way over 300 yards. <clears throat> and aim for that big tree in the middle. Hope I don't muck it up. Okay, now we're oh, I feel so much harder in the cold. So we're house hunting here. I'm fixing to retire for my second job. So I got a bonus gift. <laughs> I'm gonna be flying back to California in a couple days and I get to pick a whole new set of golf clubs. So I'll be looking forward to that. But can you imagine this place? 1898, first golf round played here. No, I'm not the first. Because it's in the city, you meet with vandals and such. 232, I don't even know if it's a par three or four, so we'll find out. And you can tell it's the city because <laughs> there's traffic and sirens and this was probably out in the country at one time back in the 1800s. I'm sure it was. And now it's inner, not inner city, but it's right on the edge of the main city. Number four, 269 yard par four. Here we go. Okay, nice and easy. Not trying to crush it, just in the fairway. Okay, my ball's right there. I gotta come up this hill, land it short. So I'm gonna hit the camera up there on the green because you're not gonna be able to see the green from down there. Okay, I'm running down the hill. This is beautiful, I love it here. Okay, on to the next. Okay, number four, par five, 452 yards. I can't tell if it's a dog leg, it looks just straight, so I'm gonna go straight.
Well, I left it a little short because I was afraid of it, but it's good. Okay, normally I would give you a shot from the green, but this is so pretty. I can't believe we're in the city. Well, that rhymed too. I played this course one other time with my brother-in-law, Kevin Marble, Paul Tanardini, and Mike Greeter. Uh, all three professional hockey players. Okay, short par four, 275, dog leg. Oh boy, here we go again. Another par three short. I got green to work with on this one. Try and keep it on the green. Easier said than done. And there's no wind, which is good. Okay, number nine, par four, 252. <laughs> and down through those trees. You'll see it when I get there. And we got Buckeyes on the ground. All right, just like golfers here. He sees me on the tee box and doesn't care. He keeps hitting practice balls. Well, I'll wake him up. Okay, number 11, 222. I should be able to drive this one easily. Probably overdrive it. Okay, they finally left the green. They're still over there on the left. And they are not gonna let me play through. I know it. Hopefully I hit them. Invisibility cloak on. Can't you see? This is a decent shot. Look at these guys, they don't give a fuck.
Stay there. Underneath a buckeye tree, I think I got 60 yards. Got the sand wedge. I haven't hit it but twice good all day, so hopefully this is the one. I need to get some birdies. It's on the green. It didn't spin out like a thought would. Par four. There's a guy fishing over there, so I don't know if he's in play or not. <laughs> yards. Looks like it's a slight dog leg left. There we go. You know, they say I have a hard time making decisions. I haven't decided on that yet. Going with the sandwich. I would love to end it on a good shot. It's been so long. Well, that's not bad. Here's my view of historical Ottawa Park. And there is my putt. here that might be my last round here in Toledo Ohio for a while I'm flying back to California on Saturday today's Thursday I might play again tomorrow I don't know I think today's Thursday we'll see 